Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another exciting daily vlog that has not been daily for like a week. So, um, yeah, last week I totally didn't do the daily vlog thing. Uh, and a lot of that had to do with the fact that, first of all, I was super, super busy last week. Um, with the uh, live stream stuff, uh, with the fact that my encounters group is currently changing stores. Um, and so I've had to uh, I, I've had to kind of uh, deal with that a little bit, and then uh, the fact that um, sorry I am I am literally completely out of it right now, um, and uh, some uh, other stuff uh, with school and everything. Like I just finished uh, a course and um, was very very happy to be done with that course. Uh, I have no more science courses left uh, for my uh, degree, so. Um, <laughs> really didn't like that course. Um, so yeah, life has been really, really busy, uh, and I finally got the time to sit down and record uh, a new vlog. Um, and uh, today I wanted to talk about why I'm so creepy. Um, so recently, um, I had uh, some friends that. Uh, 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 that uh, went to PAX, and uh, I had uh, other friends that have been going to conventions and stuff like that. And one of the things that they've been uh, doing is uh, meeting uh, a lot of people that I really, really admire. People, blah, blah, try that again. People like Kiri Callaghan, um, Mika Harper. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, Mia, uh, Mia and Omar from Two Broke, uh, Two Broke Geeks. I cannot talk at all, folks. Um, and uh, one of the things that uh, I, I watch, like I am, I, I've become a Twitter addict, uh, and so I'll watch these people's Twitter feeds where they're talking about all the cool stuff that they they do and, and things like that. And um, a lot of times, due to the fact that I will be on like a break from doing actual productive things, uh, I'll spend like twenty or thirty minutes just reading Twitter and relaxing. You know, just sitting back and kind of collecting my thoughts. Uh, sometimes I'm kind of coming down off of a panic attack, uh, and I'll just sit there and they'll tweet a lot of things, and I'll just like every time they tweet because it's something that I really find enjoyable or funny or witty or something. I'll just favorite it. Sometimes I'll comment, and um, after I do this for like half an hour, an hour, I realize how creepy that could seem. Like, wow, there's just this one guy who favorites everything I say and comments all the time. I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, and then combine that with the fact that uh, there are a few people that I really admire that I've never actually met, um, but whom I have approached uh, to do things like uh, some, uh, like the, the 48 hour uh, live stream. I have actually approached uh, so far just one person that I, I sincerely, incredibly admire. Um, to see if they are interested in uh, being a part of that somehow um, for a couple of different reasons. One, you know, from a marketing standpoint, people that are more popular than me, if I can get them involved, more people will be interested in it. So there is kind of that aspect of uh, I'm using you kind of for marketing. Um, but the other like bigger aspect is completely selfish, which is the fact that I want to actually meet these people. And even if it's just through video, I want to meet them because uh, it'd be really cool. Like you find someone that you really, really admire and then you get to actually talk to them like outside of like a signing where you have like a minute where you can just go, hi, you're the most amazing person in the world. And I really, really like you. Can you sign this? You know, and, and a lot of them like uh, from what I heard, Felicia Day is like amazing at signings. Like she really takes the time to make it personal and, and has conversations with people and things like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, part of that is, you know, the, the idea of, hey, let's get more famous people. Let's see how much money we can raise for charity. Uh, and the other part is I really like hardcore want to meet these people. Um, and depending on, on who says yes and who says no, uh, or if I get any response back at all, um, I, I may reach out to other people. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, so I, I, I sat back because I, I realized there's just quite a few of these people, like specifically people like Kiri 
and people like Nika uh, and uh, uh, Amy Dallin, uh, Omar and Mia, I'm, I'm trying to think of some of the other people. A lot of them are Geek and Sundry vloggers. Um, most of the people involved in Critical Role. Like, I've come to realize recently the reason that I become so obsessed with people like this is because quite literally I haven't actually met people like them. In my personal life, uh, I don't, um, as crazy as this may sound, I don't have a lot of friends, uh, especially people that live near me. Like uh, most of my closest friends right now, uh, I know entirely through the internet. Um, and the few people that I do spend a significant amount of time with or attempt to um, are very few and far in between. I basically have an old dungeon mastering buddy of mine, a guy that I met at a convention who's amazingly awesome. And we met because we were both wearing our Critters t-shirts, you know, the one that, that had Mercer, you know, the, the, the just the list of names. We were both wearing that at a convention. And I said, dude, Critter? And he's like, dude, Critter? And I'm like, totally. And now every local convention we go to, we try and both sit at the same table at least a couple of times during the convention. And it's it's a blast. I've gotten to know his character super, super well. Um, and half of the adventures that I've run have been with his same character. So while everyone else is like, oh, yes, we, you know, I am also an adventurer. I just turned to him and I'm like, see all and he's like aether and then we're like dude we know each other like we got a secret language and everything y'all just gotta figure us out uh, so beyond those few people uh i don't have a lot of really really close friends mostly because of my own hang-ups with uh the truth and um deception in general uh and uh just the idea of using people um, which is going to sound kind of contradictory, but hear me out. So throughout, mm, all right, so to give you guys a lot of information that you probably don't know, uh, the first girl that I ever dated uh, was a pathological liar. Um, and that messed me up majorly. And I think I've talked about this before. Um, the idea behind uh, a pathological liar is not the fact that they, you know, that their, their brain just forces them to tell lies. Um, the idea is... Uh, pathological liars um, are entirely about control. And most of the people that I don't like, you know, bullies, uh, uh, you know, liars, things like that, it's not that they enjoy doing mean things or anything like that. It's the fact that that is what they use to control and manipulate people. That's most of the quote unquote evil people that you know and the bad people that you know are bad simply because uh, like their motivation for everything is control. They want to control people. And uh, so they do that uh, by lying, by abusing people, by, you know, all, all these things are, are, are based on control. And I have a massive, massive issue with that. Uh, part of it was because I spent a large portion of my life being controlled and manipulated by others because I didn't quite understand that people would do that. Um, and uh, uh, part of it is uh, because at one point I was very close to becoming one of those controlling manipulative people, um, which I won't get into. But I, I made a choice when I was younger uh, that I wasn't going to tell any more lies uh, other than my professional life. And, and that was fueled by this idea of, you know, manipulative, controlling people. Um, and one of the things I, I soon came to realize is, at least in the area that I live, most of the people I met and knew had these controlling aspects to them. And technically, there's, you know, it's, it's kind of human nature. You know, you want the ability to kind of control your environment. You know, control is comforting, to be 100% honest. Um, but a lot of the people, and it might have just been that I was hanging with the wrong people, um, but a lot of the people I knew when growing up and then in my professional life were very much just controlling, manipulative people. And that disgusts me um, significantly uh, to the point where I actually um, I start feeling not really ill, but just feeling bad when I'm around manipulative people. Um, 
and that goes in into entirely different t conversation I'm not going to have right now. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like people like that. And because of that, uh, there are very few, I, I have a very hard time trusting people because I've been burnt so many times. Uh, and so the few people that I do trust, uh, I keep around forever and I, I give them the benefit of the doubt like a hundred times over. Like if you earn my trust, it's very, very hard to lose it um, uh, because uh, it's so difficult for uh, you to gain it. So getting back to people like Kiri and Nika, um, from the interactions that I've had with them on the internet, from uh, the interactions that other people have had with them, from like videos and stuff that I've seen them in, these are genuinely incredibly wonderful people from what I can see. Again, I've never actually met them, but the things that they do and their thought processes and their confidence is something that I find incredibly endearing um, and really uh, attractive in a person, not like a romantic interest, although the females in that group all tend to be um, very like emotionally attractive and physically attractive like they're just some pretty ladies um, But yeah, no, it's 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 an endearing and an, an attractive person uh, Quality in a person in general people that I want to associate with people that I want to spend time with um, And they just they seem like really amazing wonderful people and for a while I couldn't understand why I started to obsess a little bit over some of these people that I'm, I'm probably never going to get the chance to meet. Um, and it all came down to the fact that these are the kind of people I want to be like, and these are the kind of people that I wish the rest of the world were. They're honest people. They're not manipulative. They, they, uh, what they say is what they mean. It's not that, well, I'm going to say this because it's going to get me this and it's going to do this. No, they say things that they mean and they're incredibly creative i love creativity i love people that can just quip off these little smart aleck remarks and stuff like that like i think that's amazing and funny those are my favorite comedians uh, are the ones that just have that that real quick oh like that um that's the comedy that i tend to write when i do uh write my own comedy um i just i love people like that um so yeah, I just kind of came to the, the the realization. Like I said, I've become obsessed with a few of these people. Uh, some of them I've actually done Friday Feature Focuses on. Fo fo how do you say that plurally? Um, like Kiri Callaghan I did one on. Uh, Amy Dallin I did one on. Uh, mo to be 100% honest, most of the people that I do Friday fe Feature Focuses on uh, are people that I just start having a bit of an unhealthy obsession with. So I'm like, I'm going to make a video and get all the unhealthy obsession out of my system. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I just, I, I thought it was, uh, interesting that, you know, the reason that I'm so obsessed with these people is the fact that these are the kind of people I wish I was, um, and these are the kind of people that I wish the world was, you know, these, you know, these genuine, honest, caring, creative individuals, and if the world was made up of nothing but, like, Nika Harpers and Kiri Callaghan's and Don Diego's and uh, um, Elias Thompson's and uh, Blair Beverages, you know, these these genuinely kind, uh, you know, creative, you know, giving people, we would have an amazing, wonderful world uh, to live in. Um, so, yeah, my little rant on why I think some people are sincerely amazingly awesome. So yeah, that's all for me today. Tomorrow, barring any other uh, issues uh, with people not being able to show up, tomorrow on my Twitch channel, uh, the next episode of the Kingdom of the Kale Isles, which is my custom D and D campaign that I run uh, once, excuse me, once a month. So yeah, again, that's all for me this week, and I will. Wow, sorry. That's all for me today, and I will see you tomorrow on my Twitch channel. All right, bye bye.